Gemini and welcome to your general reading for December. So we're going to tap in, tune in and see what's coming in for you for this powerful month ahead. So thank you for being here and if you are new to the channel, welcome, subscribe, join our family because we're here for you every day. There's also going to be a singles reading and a twin flames reading on here too for your sign for this powerful month. But this is your general reading. So we're going to use five decks of cards for this reading today. The Angel Whispers cards, the Angels by Diana Cooper, a really beautiful deck. We're going to bring in the secret language of animals, the Whispering Woods and the Wheel of the Year Tarot. So thank you, angels. What do we need to know, please, for Gemini in this powerful month of December? Wow, they're jumping out the deck there. What do we need to know, please, angels, for Gemini? What's going on, please, with Gemini? What do we need to know? What's coming in for Gemini? Feel some really powerful energy around you, Gemini. I feel you're being shown the way right now. You're being guided from above and you're tapping in more than ever. So you're really in tune with your psychic side. You're really tapping in with who you are and what your journey is all about. So thank you, angels. What do we need to know, please, for Gemini? I'm going to split the deck, take out anything that's jumping and then we're going to do a full spread too. Okay, let's do this then. Now, this card seems to be flying out here. It just seems to be sticking out for a reason. So, wow, you've got the Ten of Pentacles and the Five of Chalices. Now, this is really powerful when these two come out together because this is showing you to keep the faith. To keep the faith while your dreams and your goals manifest because things will show up for you. So if you're wanting something right now, if you've got something on your mind, now this could be a relationship, it could be success in that relationship, union with your twin, it could be a goal or a dream that you have inside and maybe you're feeling a bit sad or frustrated that it doesn't seem to be manifesting. The angels are asking you to keep the faith. So this is an urgent call from heaven to keep the faith, to focus on the good things in your life, to let go, to surrender, to trust that everything is happening for a reason and there is a reason for all things. So divine timing is at work in your life and it's showing you you will have the life of your dreams. It's all there. You know, the Ten of Pentacles is a beautiful card. It's about success and power. And it's about having everything in your family life, everything in your relationship. So it's not just about getting the guy or getting the girl. It's about having everything that comes with that. It's about joy and bliss and love and all the wonderful things that you've been dreaming of. This is what's ahead for you, but you must let go of fear and replace that fear, replace that doubt, that sadness with faith, hope and love. So you focus on the good things instead of the bad things. You focus on the things that you've got in your life that you're being asked to be grateful for right now. And we've got caution. So it feels like things are happening for a reason. So things are taking time for a reason so they can build into what you want. So trust in that right now. If there's any delays around what you're creating, it's because things are being built in your life. So the caution card says, tread softly so as not to disturb the woodland floor. So you don't have to rush anything. You know, take your time. They're giving me this feeling like you're out of breath, like you want something now. And you have to relax about it and breathe about it and trust that it's going to be okay. I also feel that maybe you're worried about you know, breaking eggshells. So you're worried about walking on eggshells with people. You may be watching what you say or watching what you do because you don't want to rock the boat or cause any problems. So take a step back. Okay, the angels are saying to you that you have the power this month to achieve your dreams, to be what you want to be. But you have to not be afraid to speak your truth. So don't worry about breaking eggshells because you have to crack a few eggs to make a cake. So the angels say just be you and everything else will fall into place. And it's the journey. Branch out to new worlds. And I love this card because this is a message to trust your journey. You know, you are on a journey right now to your destination. And your destination is this beautiful life that you're seeking. Now, when you get this life, you're still on a journey because there'll be other things that you want to create in your life. So it doesn't just end with your twin flame union. 
or receiving that goal. We are spiritual beings having a human experience. So there's always something that we're wanting, always something we're desiring. And we think that when we have what we desire, we will feel better for it. That's why we desire it. So the angels are asking you to enjoy your journey, enjoy each day, each step, each moment, because that's what's worth it. You know, it's not about the destination you seek. It's about getting there. So the angels are asking you to just enjoy each moment and to relax about change. You know, this is super powerful here. You've got the bee and the dragonfly. And dragonflies are all about change, that change is in the air, that you can feel things are changing. And the bee is a magnificent symbol of communication. So again, I'm feeling here that if you're worried about rocking the boat with someone, you know, if you're feeling in pain because you haven't manifested what you want yet, and I really do feel this is, you know, a happy ever after a relationship. You know, maybe your person is with someone else or there's some pain over it. And the angels are asking you to let go because change is coming and so is communication. But you have to be patient, tread carefully, caution. If you're in separation right now from your person, and we're going to talk about that in the singles reading and, you know, in the twin flame reading. But I'm also feeling that if you're going through that right now, it's happening for a reason, so just breathe. You know, this dragonfly is showing you there's great change coming in. Magic, spontaneity, immediacy and change. So there's change happening now, you know, in this moment. And you have to see the magic in all things. This is why the angels are asking you to trust the journey. Because magic is coming in. And the B is symbolising communication. Letting you know that good things are to come devotion, harvest, purpose, creativity. So right now, work on your creativity, work on your purpose, work on letting go, work on focusing on the good things in your life, not the bad things, because there are no bad things. Everything is teaching you something and growing you something. Our ego creates fear, worry, doubt and pain because we haven't got what we want in this moment or something isn't going in accordance to our plan. Something seems to be happening differently than we want it to. So we get into this anxiety over it and this frustration and this fear. And the angels are asking you to just let go and then all of your dreams will manifest. So for now, work on you. You know, Gemini, work on you. Think about you and what you want to do. And that will open the doorways of change and it will lead to communication and everything you want flowing in. And you're gaining strength right now. You're gaining strength and power. You're taking control of your life and you're being asked to be patient, to have patience, to be patient and to trust the flow of life, to trust that things will move forward and you are safe. Now, I'm also feeling a connection here with the Taurus. So if your person is a Taurus or they have Taurus in their chart, have patience because they are taking the bull by the horns this month and they're putting things into place and things are jumping forward. So you've been asked to, you know, just take a deep breath and trust. If you've also got Taurus in your chart, then you've been asked to just breathe, okay? Take control, but also take your time. And for every other one, you know, every, any other connection with any other sign, then just breathe and let go because you are safe and you've got this and it's all part of your spiritual path. You know, everything you're going through is for your spiritual growth, for your learning, for your understanding of who you are and why you, you've been bought here, what your learning curve is, what your purpose is, your mission. So you're finding the way. You're also becoming wiser, stronger, more in your power. And you're finding who you are. So this is all happening for a reason. I also feel there's going to be apologies coming into you. You know, people on their knees begging you for forgiveness. This is what's coming in. So communication will come. So if you're waiting for an apology, just be patient and trust in divine time. Because any chaos... Any upheaval, anything that seems to be going wrong is actually going right. It's working for you, Gemini. So just be you. Okay, release fear. They're giving me fear. Thank you. Fear always comes up as like a burpee and energy, like an anxiety. So they're telling me it's more about anxiety 
that's what you need to let go of. And the reason we have anxiety is because we can't control something. So we feel anxious about it. Now, this may be in your connection right now. You can't control it. You don't know what to do about it. And it's driving you a bit mad. So you have to let go. Just focus on you. You know, the Queen of Wands is someone very strong, creative, passionate, filled with purpose and understanding, working on self trusting in the journey and doing what you want to do and when you do that and you're focused on that you're distracted from your connection or that thing that's on your mind so you let go oh, you know and it feels so good to let go to breathe to trust the journey and then everything falls into place and that's when things are going to move forward and that's when action is coming in so the angels are saying to you really powerful sometimes what you seek is as simple as being still and staying focused so the angels are saying to you if there's any confusion around you if you're overthinking if you're in anxiety just calm your mind breathe and come back into the moment center yourself because we're only in anxiety when we're worried about things we can't change or things we can't do so that's past and, and the future but when we're in the present, we are safe. And the angels want you to remember that you are safe. You've also got the short card. And this is beautiful because I feel endings and new beginnings here. And something's coming towards you that you can't yet see. And sharks are under the surface of the water until they are right there. You know, you might see the tail fin, but they come slowly, you know, slowly towards you. So you don't see a shark until it's too late. And that's what I'm feeling. You know, things are coming towards you. So there's no need to fear. So this isn't saying to you that you're going to miss out on anything or anything's going to be too late. It means you may not see things until they're right there. So trust that your dreams are manifesting and things are falling into place. Perception, focus, fear and action. So letting go of fears will change your perception and help you to focus on action. And that's the message coming through, that you are safe and all is well. And wow, we've got laughter coming through from the angels and Archangel Michael. So this is beautiful because Archangel Michael will be all around you this month, protecting you, helping you to let go of fear, to see the funny side in things, to raise your vibration and to use laughter as a tool to elevate you, to lighten your load, to relax you, to calm you, to help you to breathe. Archangel Michael will be giving you power to move forward and trust in your dreams, to have faith in your dreams and to let go of doubt. So you replace that with faith and hope and know that your happy ever after is coming. So let go of fear and focus on love because love is real. The affirmation is, I see the humour in everything. And when we do that, we just, we see things differently. You know, we change our perception. When we laugh at things that are going wrong in our life, instead of just taking it to heart. Don't take anything personally, Gemini. Rise up. You are strong. And you are so tapped in. You know, your intuition is on fire. And you know who you are. So remember that. See the funny side. Laugh at things. And remember, when you laugh at yourself first, no one can laugh at you. You know, I laugh at myself all the time. And then if anyone else laughs at me, it doesn't matter. So make sure that you're protecting yourself and you're standing strong and you know who you are. Then nothing and no one can affect your vibration and nothing can hurt you either. Laughter is a wonderful healer. And that's true. You know, if you're going through anything physically this month, laugh. You know, watch something funny that makes you smile and, you know, chuckle. Because it raises your vibration, it heals you. And there's powerful, you know, accounts out there about people who've healed serious illnesses with laughter. You know, with watching good things on the TV. You know, films and things that make you laugh and smile. Goodness. Don't be around toxic energy or fear. Be around goodness. Because goodness is good for you and it's good for your soul. Laughter is a wonderful healer and it shakes away fear and it leaves you feeling happier, clearer and more relaxed. So when you laugh about things and you raise your vibration, you're not only going to feel better, you're going to feel clearer. 
So you're going to gain clarity too. It's going to allow you to kind of clear things. It's like you've got a window and the window is smeared. And when you raise your vibration, you clear that smear away and you've got a crystal clear vision. So the angels are saying to you, you'll feel more relaxed, happier, clearer about any changes coming in. Remember that angels fly because they take themselves lightly. How beautiful is that? So angels fly because they take themselves lightly. That means they're not carrying around burdens. They're not carrying around stress or worry because they've already given any of that to heaven. So you're being asked to give any fears, anything dragging you down to heaven so you can fly too. So make light of difficulties and see the future side and the funny side of situations. So this is saying, see the funny side of situations. But the angels are saying, see the future side of situations. So look forward with joy and look forward with bliss and see that future situation. So you see differently from a different point of view, a different side. Laugh at yourself and with others. So Think about it in a good way. You know, if your divine masculine is blocking you or ignoring you, just imagine them with, you know, like um, a sheet over the head with ghost eyes, you know, or like a little child that's hiding away. See the funny side in things because you are doing everything right. Everything is working out for you. So let go of fear. When you relax and laugh, your angels drop in new suggestions and ideas which can transform difficulty into delight. So the angels are going to pop things in your mind when you relax and when you laugh and have fun. When you focus on bliss and you feel that bliss, the universe opens doors where there are only walls and God never closes a door without opening a window. So the angels are saying to you, lighten your load and solutions will come. Laughter is the sunshine which dissolves the darkness. So be merry, joyous and fun filled. And that's beautiful for December because in December we've got Christmas time. We've got this time of being with loved ones. We've got the new year. So it's a time to be merry, to be joyous, joyous and fun filled. So laugh and be like the sunshine because you are the sun. So shine, shine your light brightly. Be that beacon of light that guides others. And Archangel Michael will watch over you and make sure all is well. And the affirmation is, I am strong and protected by Archangel Michael. So anytime you go into fear this month, doubt or worrying, you know, you can't see that shark approaching to you. Or maybe you can and it's scary to you, you don't know what to do. Call on Michael and he will shield you. He will protect you, he will guide you and he will lead you forward. When you are blessed, the angels are saying to you, when you are blessed, so this is also knowing that you are blessed. When you are blessed with this angel and are guided to work with Archangel Michael, he will help you to protect and strengthen you. So you are being blessed this month by the presence of Archangel Michael and he will protect you and strengthen you. He will increase your ability to deal with problems. So ask him to cut you with his sword, his sword of light. Ask him to cut any emotional cords which bind you to people, situations, anything that feels stuck or any past memories. And then ask him to fill you with strength and love. So anything that's on your mind and it's causing havoc in your life, it's causing any worry or stress, ask him to cut the cord. Now you can never cut cords with people who are meant to be in your life, but you can cut away the fear connected with those people in your life. So you can cut away struggle and any toxic energy or anger. So Archangel Michael knows who is meant for you and what isn't. So trust the universe, trust the angels because they have your back and everything that's meant for you will be for you, Gemini. So relax and breathe. He will fill you and he will shield you. Okay, so it says he will shield you, but the angels say he will fill you. So he will fill you up. He will help you to feel loved and protected because he will put his shield around you and he will just fill you up with love. So Archangel Michael will shield you from the destructive thoughts, emotions and actions of others because sometimes hurt people hurt people. 
And we've got this trigger energy around right now, especially until the winter solstice on the 21st. So we've been asked to, you know, raise our vibration, to shield ourselves from harm, to not take things personally, and to know that we are loved. So if someone's coming at you, whether that be family member, friendship, your twin flame, your boss, a colleague, Archangel Michael will shield you from any harsh or destructive emotions, from any harsh or destructive words, and will also elevate you so that you speak with love and kindness and joy, because sometimes we can react in the heat of the moment and then regret it later on. So Archangel Michael will also give you the power to respond with love, to take a step back and to take your time. To know that with patience and compassion and kindness, everything is possible for you and all is well. Archangel Michael works on the blue ray, giving strength and courage. Call for his help and visualize yourself wearing a deep, a deep blue cloak, securely, it says hemmed, okay? And securely blessed, okay? Let me just look at that. Yeah, it says securely fastened. But the saying securely hemmed, securely blessed, and securely fastened. So when you've got on this cloak, and this is like a dark blue, royal blue healing cloak, it will shield you. So all you have to do is just close your eyes and see yourself being enveloped in this love. And he will put this love around you. He will heal you and hold you. So you move forward. They're giving me 21 and we just did 21 on the time there. So you'll move into 21 shielded, fastened, hemmed with love. So beautiful. So you're going to feel this protection on every level. So if you start seeing dark blue or you're guided to dark blue, royal blue, navy or even purple, big sign of your protection. And even better if you see blue feathers and that's unusual but the angels will show them to you they could be with peacocks they could be on feather boas that fall off something connected with the celebration you're going to be shown the truth the power of archangel michael's love and this will place you under his protection so he's placing you this month gemini under his personal protection how amazing is that he is the the master of all angels and you are the master of you the master of your journey the master of your ship he is a great warrior spirit and that's you too you are a great warrior spirit gemini you know who you are within the light you will feel more secure have more confidence more energy and more power so use the affirmation i am strong and protected by archangel michael how beautiful is that so we're going to do a bit of few tarot here. Let's see what's coming in. So we've got here, yet yeah, the ego and the higher self. So any struggle or worry or anything that's going on around you this month, it's coming from your mind. It doesn't matter what is going on in the outside world. It's coming from your mind because everything that happens to you is neutral. It's the way you see it that makes it good or bad. So even if someone isn't behaving a certain way or doing something that you want... This could be your twin flame letting you down or not being honest with you about something or, you know, making you wait for something. Just breathe, okay? It's happening to protect you. See things from a different perspective because you are safe. And when you go within, you work that out. And I feel this could also be, you know, fear of being alone, time alone as well. And that may hurt you or worry you, especially around Christmas time in the new year, but you are never alone. You are loved, protected and supported by angels and Archangel Michael has got your back. So you're going to feel his loving presence all around you during December. So you move into 2021 feeling safe and knowing that you are building the life of your dream. So it may not quite be there. It may not quite be manifested just yet. And this is what I'm feeling here because this is the dream. This is what you're thinking about. This is what you want. And this is the current reality. So you're thinking, is it ever going to happen? So it feels like this is your 5D reality and this is your 3D reality. But everything is aligning to bring you where you're meant to be, to bring your dreams forward for you. So relax and breathe. It is moving forward and it will be unexpected. So this is why the shark cards come in. Because the dragonfly is symbolizing the great changes that are taking place. And the shark is symbolizing the swiftness of it. 
that it will happen quickly when it comes. And I feel this as you moving into the new year with this power energy within you. You know, you're protected and safe. You've got the shield around you, the sword of truth. So Archangel Michael is guiding you. You've got that beautiful blue color there. So you're moving forward fearlessly. You're ready. You know, all you have to do is let go. Don't worry about losing anything or losing anyone because you can't lose what's meant for you. So let go of the past. Heal it, okay? Move forward into the new year and December, but the new year feeling strong, remembering who you are. And if you feel that things are over, the angels are telling you your life is just beginning. So get ready for that. Power there, hope the star. And this is the moon card, but they show me a star there. You know, this is powerful, reflection, healing. So you're healing fear and you're replacing it with hope. You're healing this doubt and you're replacing it with faith and that's leading you to the start. So it's leading you forward. You're healing things. You're ready. They're also showing me this bouquet there. So for some of you may be wondering if you're ever going to be married or if you're going to marry your person. Well, I also feel that coming in the future. Okay, It may feel out of reach now. It may even feel out of reach because maybe they are the one that are married or in a relationship. But the angels are asking you to trust because... It's not yet set in stone. Things are changing. The King of Pentacles is focus on what you want. Desire and passion and love. You can't get a rose without a few thorns. So don't worry about the fear of your future. Let it go and breathe and trust that you are safe. You know, you are protected. You've got this and heaven has got you. And the outcome is the chariot forward motion. And we've got giving and receiving there. So the angels are clearly saying to you, Gemini, these cards are moving to, these are clarifiers, that things are moving forward that you can't yet see. Yeah, look at this. We've also got the cup of love there, the ace of chalices, and the two of wands. So this is showing you what you make a decision about now, you will build later. So you're creating. Can you see that beanstalk there? That's being created into this cup of love, the fire that's burning, hope and power. So this is showing you everything you're dreaming of right now is coming true. You may not see it, you may not believe it, but you have to trust it because in December, everything is falling into place. Have a great month, sending you so much love and I'll see you soon.